Joining me is Johan Janse van Furen and I've managed to grab uh, Gavin Lorena to give their comments for the 30th of December at Turfentine Racecourse. Johan, in race one, it's a maiden juvenile plate over the 800 metres. You've got Chieftain, uh, final try in Montana Lights. Um, Chieftain, very, very smart horse, only been in a grass once. He's going to be green, um, but he's definitely going to beat a couple home and um, he's a horse you can look out for in his next run or maybe after that but he was a late fall so we haven't been very hard on him but very 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 smart horse um, didn't quite do enough for him to to expect him to win on debut but like I said follow him for the future um, final try he's a bit more immature and um, they were thinking about combining his two baby races and I didn't want so many of them in the same race so I just left him in to have a gallop it's 800 meters it's so easy for his for his juvenile so he's a bit more leggy he's a bit more immature I don't expect him to quite be on the pace up there um, yeah he also drawn down the inside um, probably second half of the field instead of a front half like like Chieftain um, but two nice horses for the future and then um, Gavin will have a chat on Montana Lights he worked recently yeah, Montana Lots, uh, very nice filly. Uh, she's been really good at the gate. She she breaks nicely, um, and I think it's very important over 800. Um, she's given me a nice field home. She's she's pretty speedy. She's, you know, we ha we haven't worked her for a long time, but she's just such a natural athlete. Um, I think she'll she'll go well. Then in uh, race two, it's a maiden juvenile plate for the Phillies. You've got Ignite the Lights, Simply Majestic and Way to Burn. Um, Simply Majestic, she's the best of the three. Um, Gavin jumps on her. She had a jump through the gates two weeks ago, two, 10 days ago actually, you rode a Vicky. And um, you're very excited about her work. She shows really good work. Um, unless there's one of the first timers that are really, really good. Um, I think she'll probably just about win this or go very close. Way to burn not showing me too much at home. Um, yeah, once again, I left her in to make the field stand up. Um, she's ready to go 800 though. She didn't impress me in the first gallop and then Ignite the Light will need to run. Then race six, it's a pinnacle stakes over the 1160 meters. You've got uh, Chaivana with a, a nice low weight of 50 with Jared Penny and then gobsmacked with Gavin drawn six. How, six how is she doing? Yeah, listen, she's going to need one more. I'm not too excited about her. Um, she needed the last run extremely badly. She's still going to need this similar run to Karangatang. He need, ran better. She's going to run better, but she's still going to need it. And then Shavana, strangely enough, he pulled, walked out the box very lame this morning. Um, we're waiting for the vet to rock up. So most likely he's not going to run. I don't know what happened there because he was in really good shape. Um, so yeah, we'll make a call tomorrow morning, but highly unlikely you'll, you'll start tomorrow. Then race eight, uh, it's a middle stakes over the 1400. I'm just going to step over to Gavin to, to get his comments. Uh, Gav, Red Bomber, ran a nice race last time. Uh, now Saturday you've drawn two. How do you think he's going to go? Yeah, so obviously it's very nice that we've got a, a nice draw, that 1400 you jumping on the turn. Uh, his last start, we had quite a lot of rain before it and um, he w probably wasn't at his best. And that day we, we gave him quite a chance early on in the race and hoping he'd run home nicely and he hit the line well for us. Um, so I think he'll, he'll go well on Saturday. And then, uh, Johan, just uh, his well-being, how's he doing back at home? Um, Vicky, I actually think, I see we're coming to draw one. Uh, Peyton steers his scratch like his horse, so we, Gavin's got the, he's on the fence. Um, I feel we've got him extremely well. Um, oh, there's no such thing as a racing certainty, but I think this also will run very close. Then race nine, it's an MR84 handicap over the 1400. You got Mo the man. Um, Gav, how do you think he's going to go? He's been ultra consistent this horse. Yeah, he's been uh, he's been really good to us. Uh, he, he never runs a bad race. Um, obviously, again, nice draw. Um, been looking forward to riding. We've been dying to run him over 1400 with a with a little set of blinkers on. I think the blinkers could do him the the world of good. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think we've been waiting for a race like this for a good three months or so. So, looking forward to riding him. Um, he doesn't always break the best, but if I can get him into a nice position, I'm sure with the scoops, he's, he'll pull me through nicely and and give me a good kick late. And Johan, how's his well-being back at home? 
Yeah, Vic's very good. He's not a horse that gives away too much. Um, he's a really good eater, so he's a type of horse we can get really a lot of work into him. Um, like Evan said, we've been waiting for a 14 with scoops. Um, yeah, listen, he's not a he's not a world beater, but he's honest. Um, I don't think he's my best runner on the day, but he'll definitely give a good account of himself. And that's uh, Johan's runners for, for Saturday the 30th of December.